Hello everybody, again, this is Adam Cinema with Success in Fundraising, checking in with you on a Thursday afternoon. And uh, it's exciting, This uh, we're obviously nearing the end of this, we call it fall, but uh, before Christmas season, we have deliveries today and then Monday and Tuesday next week and we'll be done with deliveries. So we're, uh, we're pretty excited for that, it's been a very busy season. But uh, I was thinking back to last week, and last week we talked about National Pastry Day. And we've, we've been celebrating the whole week. and Well, not really. But uh, we, we were excited that day. We sh <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Jennifer's in the background making faces at me. It's not my fault. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, with Nas National Pastry Day, we, uh, there was a, like five or six giveaways from Country Made, the people that make butter, butter braid pastries. And... One of them was uh, to tag, not tag, but to announce the dealership that is in your area. They gave you the tool, type in your zip code, and you can find your dealership. So uh, we got a little bit of a, we, we were able to share it on our page, and all, it ended up uh, that someone from our territory uh, won the prize. I think it was a case of uh, Butterbraid Pastries. Hope I'm not overpromising, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was some, I know it was some pastries, but Mary Espinoza and I'm pretty sure she's in Hardin, Montana, uh, got the prize. And we were really excited to see that because I guess we just like to see out of, out of uh, almost 80 dealers, I think, around the country, we got a little bit of attention, just us. So we, we were always enjoyed that. Um, and congratulations to the other winners, obviously. And we certainly appreciate all those who did go out and comment and, uh, and did get entered for those. They do come around now and then. So that was sort of fun. That was last Thursday. I think Friday they were announced. If you look at our page for Butterbrae Fundraising, you can see that. But uh, now, so with all the with the work getting close to done, the, the big work, the delivery work, and we're looking at, and I know it's hard because it's a ways out there, and we're all focused on next week and the next week and the new year, Christmas and New Year and all of that stuff. But... Uh, it is a it is a good reminder that uh, Easter this year, next year, 2022, is on April 17th, and that is right at four months away. And so, if you're wanting to run a fundraiser, plenty of time to get a delivery before Easter. But the reality is, is you can, you're going to want to get on the books, if not soon, for sure, early next year, so January. Be reaching out and getting your getting yourself set up because it would make sense to run in February, early March in that general time frame, and then deliveries will be kind of uh, mid March ish, where the busiest part mid March to uh, week before Easter. Uh, not to say we don't do afterward as well. There's another round after Easter, but Easter is a big holiday similar to Thanksgiving in December and, <laughs> and Christmas, uh, where uh, when you have friends and family visiting and you're celebrating. Uh, you can have butterbraid pastries. People like those to have and share. So we do. We still have butterbraid pastries and all of our product lines. You can go to our website at uh, uh, successnfr.com. Look at our product page. You can see everything. And uh, But for all those groups who might want to consider something in the interim, so I need to fundraise in January. Maybe I can't get uh, our, our frozen products delivered. We have Latitude 40 and then all of our 406 fundraising items. They're two separate fundraisers, but we have them set up so that you could sell online and we would ship these from the office to your customers. So we have uh, more variety and more options. That way, if, you, if, you, if you're kind of stuck with where your fundraiser is going to fall with, with all the other ones going on, you want to fall into a little different area, or if you want to try to reach people further out than your own community, these online ones work great because they get shipped and you don't have to worry about handling them or handling money and a lot of those kinds of things. So just a shout out to those kind of front edge of the season kind of fundraisers. Uh, we do have options for that. If you want the, any of the frozen products that we have, we, we do try to work it so our deliveries will, will be in that March to March to May, early May is when we're doing all of our delivering next, early next year. And so I know it's a long ways out there, but uh, just that reminder that it's, uh, it is something we could be considering let us know. I know it's not it's not a rush right now, so just give us a quick heads up and let us know that you're thinking about it or wanting to do it, and uh, we'll get you set up and at ease with how that's going. So, but uh, this week seemed to blow by, 
and uh, we, we got a, as did a lot of people in Montana, we got a lot of snow, and so we're, we're doing the slicker roads lately. Been thankful for dry roads, but, uh, but everything's been going well. So we're thankful for all of the safety. Our drivers make it home every night, and uh, yeah, we're just excited and happy for, with, all the, with all the groups that we've been able to work with. And so, so with that, just thanks, and talk to you again.